In this video, I will talk about some simple Vim commands. These commands will help you orientate yourself in Vim, because when you're opening an empty file, you pretty much only see an empty screen and a blinking cursor. So the very first thing you would like to do is to add visual means like indicators, line numbers and so on to make Vim look more familiar to other editors. First we are going to look at commands that will achieve this. These commands can then be added to your vimrc file, which makes them available each time you are using vim. The rc of a vimrc file simply stands for run commands, which is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to take a look at various commands which will end up in our vimrc file and thus executed automatically when vim starts. A vimrc file has to be put into your home directory and has to be called .vimrc. You can also force vim to load this file by typing source your home directory slash .vimrc. So now let's start and take a look at the commands. After vim has been opened we see a very empty screen. To gain a better overview I will first enable the line numbers by using the command set nu. This command simply adds a new line number for each new line written in vim. Secondly, I will put an emphasis on the line I'm currently working on. For this, I will use the command set cursor line, which will underline the current row where the cursor is located. Another interesting command that also helps for orientation is called set ruler. A box with various information about the cursor location will pop up in the bottom right corner. The first two numbers reflect the y and x position of the cursor. So when I move the cursor, the y and x positions will change. When the x position is displayed as O-1, the line hasn't been touched yet. So as soon as we are using Vim's invert mode and enter something, O-1 will become a normal number. The third part of the box is a label or a percentage which tells us which portion of the document we are currently seeing. It answers the question whether we are currently looking at the top of the document, the bottom of the document or somewhere else. This information box simply reminds me of the scroll bar which you can see in any other normal editor and also the windows in your operating system or the browser. The next command I found in a presentation about Vim. This command allows me to see a visual delimiter once I reach 80 characters in one line. I mainly use this for readability reasons. One important point is that we humans naturally see columns better. In other words, table-like data or information are very readable to us. What I want to say is that this marker helps me maintain this structure. Also, it visually reminds me when I go overboard with method names or statements. I also read that this 80 character limit is part of the PEP8 standard of Python, which makes the visual indication even more useful. So this delimiter simply helps me to not go too far into the X direction. Since I only copy and pasted these commands in order to get the visual indication, I will give you my guess as a description for how those commands are working. The highlight command simply defines an alias for the terminal background color we would like to use for the visual indication. You yourself can use whatever you like, but magenta really stands out in a lot of color themes. The match add command applies the color column alias once the 81st column is reached. V in this case stands for vertical. The last argument, the number 100, defines a priority, which I guess is only applied when Vim executes two different commands that would affect the same location. In this case, the command that has the higher priority would be executed and the other one wouldn't. The command results in a color dot at the 81st column. It appears once I reach this column with my cursor. So these have been the Vim commands that help me to orientate within a Vim file. These are some very basic commands which should help you get started with your own Vimrc file. See you next time.